Look at this beautiful machine. You can't tell by looking at it, but this is only 1 18th size in scale, which means it is slightly larger than the Axial SCX uh, 24s, as well as the Kyosho uh, Mini Z 4x4s that we've been looking at. In fact, in comparison, this truck is huge to the uh, Mini Z. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. Look at the enormous difference right there. Tire size, even the axle width. Look at, it's more than a tire wider. And then with the Axial SCX24, clearly it is slightly larger. Look at this, it's very close in size. That could almost pass for a 24. But again, if you look at the width, you'll see that it is actually a whole tire wider. What is this? Here, you're probably wondering right away. You've read the title already. Here, there's so many names on this, like right here. DHRC, okay, cool. And then Panda Hobby, and then the Sport Tetra K1. Whew, looks like a power wagon to me. There you go. For those that haven't seen this yet, because I didn't do an unboxing on it, you can see that it's got a nice uh, ladder frame chassis. Look at the size of that motor, guys. The can is huge. It's got a standard uh, a receiver in there, but that you can control the lights. These shocks are fantastic. They actually have some dampening. They are oil filled. Listen. They can articulate quite a bit, which is nice. I don't really have any chassis flex in here. I'll take the body off just so you can have a look on the inside. There you go. So the lights plug right into the receiver. The receiver actually has quite a few channels on it there. Well, it's a six channel receiver. Comes with a Lion battery, which is 700 milliamps, 7.4. It's to be like a nine gram servo. Uh, and then the suspension on here Silent takes away that big bounciness of it. So a real contender here. I just want to see it on the course Here is the little radio and then of course that button with the high medium and low I like how they have the shifter sticker there and then you've got your light control on uh, channel 3 So pretty straightforward steering and the steering's pretty good and then the speed like with three speeds You probably want to see it. So I'll put it on low speed first. Here we go. That's low speed, full throttle. <laughs> you guys are going to be blown away. M mid speed. Pretty good. High speed. <laughs> so they're just limiting the ESC, basically, the, the speed output. But I think it's pretty cool. I like to run mine on me uh, medium so far. I find in low, if you're starting to push against any obstacles and you need to torque it a little bit, it doesn't have enough oomph. But that might just be my model. Who knows? Other people might have different experiences. In three, two, one, let's go. It's got that whine in the ESC. And it's a little bit on the jerky side because I don't have any radio control like for exponential, right? I'm just basically just giving it a little bit here. Which way are we going to go? I think we should... I didn't even set out a course. What am I, crazy? Let's go this way. This looks so good. Oh, come on. That's okay. I don't mind. Can I back out of it? I can. That's okay. So if I was high centered, let's try to go this way and bounce out of it. There, good, good. Now I'm up on this. Am I actually going to flip it right here? Looks like I'm going to. Nope. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Except I'm going to be nosing down with this huge bumper. Oh, first rollover. That's going to cost me in the competition. Should have come around here. Should have, could have, would have. As a repo, can I even make it down there? Oh, I'm going to slide straight off. That's okay. Next time I'll put up some gates. Look at that. So there is some suspension movement right there. For anybody who's like, oh, it doesn't really look like it moves a lot. You can see there, just under its own weight, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's keep her crawl. Let's keep the crawl going. 
Oh, I might end up here as a repo. Come on, baby. Yeah, saved it. Down by the bridge, Fred Flintstone's here. For anybody who knows what that is, who that is. Coming around. You'd think it's not acting very well, and I guess the throttle control, plus I'm driving one-handed, is not like super amazing, but for the package and for the cost of this little model, it definitely was worth it. Plus, I like the old school body. Like, it looks pretty good. This looks a lot like Lyle's FMS uh, Atlas, right? This is just one, uh, one axle shorter. I'll have to get Lyle over here so we can comp with it. It looks so good. Big boulder in my way, still going on full speed. You guys must be thinking we're not doing the mud. Not so, just repositioning. Yeah. Come on now. Don't let the people down. I love the power in this little fella. And the fact that it's pretty much the size of an Axial SCX24 is cool. Your, your buddies, depending on who they are, may let you compete with an 18 scale but it is wider, so it'll take a lot more to make it roll over comparatively to the 24. Look at that, such a nice looking truck. If you guys love this truck right now, please smash the like button, let me know. This might be one of my new favorites just to look at. Oh, that's okay. Performance wise, what can we do? There we go, oh, over I go. Terrible driving, that's okay. Getting over to the mud eventually. Just straight in, yeah? One, two, three. Oh, I love it. It just looks good with mud on it. And extra capable because it is so, like the tires, everything being wider, more capable. Look at that. Like it didn't hold on as much mud as the smaller ones did. Even though I guess I shouldn't say too much. Maybe it's the consistency of the mud today. Oh, I love that. Let's back this up. Let's get it in there a little more. I have to get in there and oil up my bearings, oil up the rubber tires so I can clean them off a little easier. I love the extra wheel speed. 118 scale, my friends. Pretty cool. <laughs> I centered again. Trying to back out of there. There we go, a little help. Oh yeah! I should be like, not cheering all the time, but I love just, even though I had to help the truck out, who cares? Oh, oh! Stuck on the bumper. Oh, and he's able to crawl out of that. I thought that was doom for sure. Many of you did. Here's what happens when, you're, when the dirt gets onto the tires and it's wet. Starts to build up, cake up a little bit. Not a big deal. Round out through the tunnel. Yeah, over the bars. Piece of cake. Oh, nice, down it goes. Oh, got myself into a tight position. Work my way out. That little Lion battery doing amazing, plenty of power today. Oh, that's okay. What a great little truck, guys. I thoroughly enjoy it. There's so many things, so many RCs you can get for under $150 these days US that are just phenomenal and you can have fun with them inside, like any kind of if you're on a budget, you need to get a couple of these, you know, it's kind of affordable instead of a, a, a one-tenth scale, which is, you know, the cost of a couple of these. Oh, nice. I'm just enjoying what it looks like. Wow. Oh, I almost brought down the whole, the roof. Bringing down the roof. I kind of feel like I cheated there. Not a lot of backward and forward control. Takes a little bit more with this, but I think once I switch out the electronics, 
this little truck is going to be an unstoppable beast. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me today. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and enjoying the series we put out. I think there's affordable RCs for everybody out there. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. In fact, here's another one you can watch right now. Thank you.